Many of you have mentioned that Christmas isn't out at your Dollar Trees yet, but no worries, we are crafting with an item you can find at any Dollar Tree. Coffee mugs! Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I love that Dollar Tree carries solid color coffee mugs year round. We're going to use a red one and also two red plates that are the small size. You'll also need to grab one of these clear glass candlesticks and you'll also need some glue. We're going to use a combination of hot glue on the candlestick and also some E6000 that is really going to bond our pieces together. Take one of your small plates, flip it upside down, and center your candlestick in the center. Make sure to press down firmly before then flipping it back over. We're then going to take our hot glue on the bottom of a coffee mug and then put some E6000 on the bottom of that as well. Center that with the plate. So as you can see, we're creating a coffee mug style tiered tray. Again, another layer of hot glue, E6000 on the rim of your coffee mug this time, and then placing a plate on top. I think it would be great if you found a larger plate to put on the bottom that would give you even more room for all of your Christmas goodies. This is the perfect little tiered tray to display your Christmas candies, cookies, goodies, and another idea is to put another coffee mug on top that would give you room to put even more Christmas treats in. I would love to hear what your favorite Christmas treat is. Mine is divinity. My grandma used to make it every Christmas season. Now here's another great idea using the same concept to kind of create a raised tray, just using a coffee mug and a plate on top to add to your decor. Dollar Tree also has some Christmas mugs. Mine has these year round. I guess they don't sell a whole lot of them, so they just have overstock. So I grabbed a few of those and I'm gonna use those and create some other cute Christmas decor, putting some plates on top and then displaying some candles. So this is a good idea to add some battery candles to to make sure it's safe, add it to your shelf, add it to a mantle, anywhere where you need a little extra height in your decor. Coffee mugs also make amazing Christmas gift ideas and Dollar Tree carries these amazing mug treats. They're basically all the ingredients and then you make the treat in the mug. So I grabbed a couple of those. Definitely keep your eye out on these at your Dollar Tree. I've never tried them though, though, so if you have, let me know down in the comments below if they're good or not. And then pair it with a coffee mug. This is one I got at Dollar Tree, added a vinyl decal to the front. We're gonna add some extra goodies to the inside of that, some hot chocolate, a cocoa spoon, and a couple of these boxes of treat mixes. This is some clear cellophane, also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna cut myself out a square, gather the corners up at the top, and then kind of bunch it together use some string or some ribbon or some twine tie it all together make sure it's nice and tight tie a bow and then you can add a gift tag also I trimmed off the top to make it look a little bit more tailored add a candy cane on there add an extra little gift card in there sky's the limit with this but so quick easy and costs less than ten dollars this is another great decor idea that is mess-free, quick and easy. Gather up some random coffee mugs, obviously in the colors of your Christmas decor. I found these little miniature coffee mugs at Hobby Lobby. I'll show you more about those here in a little bit, but I thought they would be cute to add some different heights to this. And we're just adding some bottle brush trees in here. Some of my trees were a little bit short, so I took a wood block, stuck it in my coffee mug, and that raised up my trees so I didn't have to go buy more trees that were taller. I even kind of switched stuff around, whatever kind of felt right, and then also added a couple smaller trees into my miniature coffee mugs. How quick and easy was that? And you can use this in your kitchen. I think it'd be so cute on a kitchen shelf or in the windowsill in your kitchen over your sink. If you are new here, you may not know, but I do have another YouTube channel called The Cozy Christmas Cottage where you'll find even more holiday and Christmas inspiration. So I'd love for you to head over there and subscribe after this video. I'll make sure to have a link. Now let's do some super fun crafting. This is called Model Magic. If you've never used it before, it's by Crayola. It is an air dry clay, but it's more foamy and it is mess free. It doesn't get all over your hands. It doesn't leave any residue and it's very much like clay. So I love this stuff and it makes the perfect base to create marshmallows with. So we're going to make 
obviously faux marshmallows and some miniature ones. We're going to roll a little piece into a ball, roll it back and forth to kind of make a snake shape and then push down on the top and the bottom instant miniature marshmallow. Now I want to add these onto a coffee mug. So I am going to roll up bunches of these to have them handy. Now, since these are smaller, they don't take much time to dry. I let them sit for about an hour before I moved on to add these to the coffee mug. We're going to combine these mini marshmallows into some chocolate drizzle on a coffee mug. And we're going to do that by creating some faux chocolate drizzles with some brown glue sticks. I found mine on Amazon. I'll make sure to link these along with any of the supplies I'm using in today's video down in the description box. And it's so quick and easy. You just put them into your glue gun, make some little drizzles down the edge of your coffee mug. And while it's still warm and it hasn't dried yet, just tap in a few of those mini marshmallows and then we're going to work our way all the rent all the way around our coffee mug I took a poll over on my Instagram asking if you liked coffee or hot cocoa better and it was pretty much split down the middle 50 50. I am more of a coffee drinker but you'll have to let me know which is your favorite down below I just finished off the edge with some more of that brown hot glue. Look how cute this is turning out. We're gonna make another accessory for it or any mug really this would work for. Using that same Model Magic clay, we're gonna cut out some larger sized cookie cutters, pretty much regular sized cookies actually. And we're going to take a knife and cut out the center, pretty much just a long rectangle. Cut that out of there and let this dry for several hours so it can harden up. Then you can take these and add them on to the edge of your coffee mugs. How cute is this? Faux marshmallows that you can leave out and look cute for your hot cocoa bar decor. So I love the way this looks with the hot chocolate kind of chocolate drizzle around the edge with the mini marshmallows. But I also love that this works with regular coffee mugs too. So whatever coffee mug you already have on hand, or if you can find these solid color ones at Dollar Tree, that'll save you a bundle too. Just a quick and easy little addition. So, so cute. Now I'm kind of going into some mega crafting here. We're going to use some silicone molds and some epoxy resin. I had this idea to make some faux coffee or hot cocoa, or at least make it look like it was in our coffee mug. So I found some mica powder. I actually had some called coffee color already. I also found one that was a little bit darker. I will link all of this in the description box below, all from Amazon. This is resin. It's a two part epoxy that you mix together and equal parts use a popsicle stick mix it add your mica powder that's going to add the color to your epoxy i also added like i said a darker brown too to give it a little bit more dimension mixing this all together and then once it's ready we're going to pour it into a silicone mold now ideally you want a circle that is the same size as the top rim of your coffee mug or a little bit smaller I didn't realize these were a little bit too small, but what you do is you let these sit overnight so they can harden completely. They come out almost like a plastic. Now, obviously this is an ornament shape and you could use these as ornaments if you wanted, but I just wanted something round that would fit down into my coffee mug. So I didn't need the top of the ornament. I used an X-Acto knife and ultimately some heavy duty scissors to trim that top part off. And this, I was so excited. It looks just like coffee or hot, hot cocoa with kind of that see-through look. So I was getting excited. Another accessory, we're gonna make some more marshmallows. I thought it'd be cute to have one sort of look like it's floating on top of the hot cocoa. So I found this star that fit right down perfectly on the inside of a coffee mug. So I just pulled that up, tapped around the edges, smoothed them out. So it had that fluffy marshmallow look. We're gonna let that dry. And then here's another accessory idea. You can make larger marshmallows. So we've made mini marshmallows. We've made a star marshmallow, some hang off the edge marshmallows. And these are gonna look like the big jet puffed marshmallows that you maybe make s'mores with. So you basically do them just like the mini marshmallows, just mega size, tap around the top, all the way around the sides and look at it. It looks just like a marshmallow. So unfortunately, as you can see, these are a little bit too small, fit right down the bottom instead of at the top of my coffee mug. No problem though, we're gonna take some of those wood blocks. Again, those are from Dollar Tree and we're gonna set those down in there to raise this up. So ideally, you definitely want a circle that is going to look like it's filling up towards the top of your coffee mug, but use what you have. 
that's what I did here. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but it's still a super cute idea. Add your faux marshmallow to the top and it looks like it's floating on your hot cocoa. So cute. Also, another idea is to add in those larger marshmallows. What a cute idea. I think I'm going to try this again get some bigger molds and that way I can have a whole set of coffee mugs with our faux hot cocoa or chocolate in there. We are not done with our big marshmallows quite yet. I still had some more of those brown hot glue gun sticks so we're gonna make some fancy uh, marshmallows using the glue to kind of drizzle around the edges of our marshmallow and then once you get all the way around the edge go ahead and fill in the top circle and it looks like you have dipped fancy marshmallows but the great thing about these is you can leave them out all season long and they won't go bad. I'm going to be adding them to one of these clear coffee mugs from Dollar Tree. It's another great addition to my little coffee bar I have set up in here. I had a wood spoon too I threw in there and I had a couple extras that I just kind of used as filler on the bottom before then adding in my fancy chocolate drizzled marshmallows on top. I really wanted to use up my whole pack of Model Magic as it doesn't really store really great. You can do your best to kind of wrap it up and save it, but instead I had some miniature cookie cutters and decided to cut a bunch of those out to make some miniature marshmallows in fun Christmas shapes. Now, depending on how thick you make these, these are great to sit overnight to dry, but some of the thicker ones do take about 72 hours. I added them into those miniature little coffee mugs from Hobby Lobby. They were the cute, perfect addition to my little tiered tray. And here's a big overview of our faux coffee bar. Most everything is not edible, so you can keep it out all season long. Now we're not quite done. I still had some more of these miniature coffee mugs. They're only $2.99 at Hobby Lobby and at 50% off, they were only $1.50. Same thing with these miniature buttons from Hobby Lobby. And we're gonna use some peppermint candies. These are real candies, so if you can find faux candies, that would probably be ideal. But this works, especially if you're not too worried about maybe a pet getting it or bugs getting into it. And then we're just gonna hot glue some of these little miniature decorative pieces to the inside of our miniature coffee mug and create a really simple, easy Christmas ornament. So you could do this with a regular size coffee mug too. It just depends on how big your Christmas tree is or how much weight the branches of your Christmas tree can hold because a lot of times your coffee mugs have some good weight to them. So these miniature ones work really great for little ornaments. I think it's just so precious and darling. Another great ornament to add to a themed tree or definitely a Christmas tree you might have in your kitchen. You may have noticed the coffee mug banner or garland that was on the front of the coffee bar. We're going to be making that project now too. Using these wood shapes, they were actually from Dollar Tree during the fall time. I grabbed them because I just, they screamed hot cocoa to me. So I knew I would be setting these back to use right now. We're going to turn these into hot cocoa mugs that worked perfectly for this coffee bar. I used some red acrylic paint and painted the bottoms of the mugs. I did do two coats of those, let those dry completely, and then we're going to add a special touch. We're going to add some caulk from Dollar Tree as the whipped cream on the top of our hot cocoa mugs. You just kind of squeeze it out, kind of swirl it around, give it some texture until the whole top is covered. You do want to try to keep the holes open if you can. If not, let them dry, and then you can come in and kind of route out the holes and make room for your pieces that you're gonna be adding to the top. 
Now let's decorate up our mugs. I'm using a chalk marker. I'll make sure to link these down in the description box below. These are my new favorite chalk markers that I use all the time. We're just gonna use it to outline some of the mug and add a little snowflake right to the center. This is such a quick and easy project and I had so much fun doing it. The great thing about these two is you can turn them into a couple different things and I wanted to show you what I did. So these are some great Christmas ornament hooks you can get from Hobby Lobby and they are so kind of fancy and decorative. So they have a little hook on one end that you put through the hole of your ornament and then it has the curly cue at top that you can then attach onto your Christmas tree branches. Such a cute little ornament. Again, great for a themed Christmas tree. But as I showed you before, these also made the cutest little garland for the front of the coffee bar. I used some red and white twine, tied it onto the front of the console table and instant cuteness for the coffee bar. Now, one last project. I'm excited about this one. You can use any kind of coffee mug for this. We're gonna make a snowy scene for Christmas time. You wanna stuff the inside of your coffee mug. My mug is obviously from Dollar Tree. And this is also some fluff that you can get in the Christmas section at Dollar Tree. This may not be for everybody. It does have glitter on it. So you may wanna use some different kind of stuffing. But we're gonna use that with some hot glue, attach it to the inside of the mug to create our snowy base. And then you can add any kind of embellishments to the top to create your own snowy scene. This is a red truck from Dollar Tree from their springtime section. And I held on to it knowing it would be perfect for Christmas time, adding some miniature bottle brush trees to the backside there. I had this teeny tiny tree. I cut the bottom of that off and hot glued that into the back of the truck, making it an instant Christmas decorative piece. Such a cute Christmas DIY idea you can use if you don't have a whole lot of space or if you need a quick gift idea. If you are now in the Christmas spirit, which I hope you are, I hope you'll head over to my Christmas channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage here on YouTube for more Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs and inspiration. I'll have that popping up on your screen. You can click over and watch one of those videos next. I wanna thank you all so much for watching today and I wanna wish you all a very happy holiday.